about three years now. This year was my first year doing a horse project. Today I'll be speaking about what hoof abscess is and how to treat it. A hoof abscess is an infection in the horse's hoof caused by a bacteria that enters the hoof wall or sole by damage from things like nails, glass, and rocks. Over here you can see two diagrams. The first diagram shows the hoof wall, inner and outer, the coronary band, also known as the cornet band, and the white line, which you can see better in my second diagram. My second diagram shows the hoof wall, the white line, and the sole, which is around the frog. The frog is the middle triangle-shaped piece at, that acts like a shock or a cushion for the hoof. Around it, you can see the bars and the bolts appear right above. Now that we know some of the parts of the hoof, we can go more into what a hoof abscess is. There are two most common types of abscesses, a subsolar and a submural. A subsolar abscess is when bacteria enters the sole of the hoof and usually vents, which means that the bacteria exits the hoof in the form of pus at the white line, the bars, or the heel bolt. A submural abscess is when bacteria enters the hoof wall and usually vents at the coronary band. A fun way I like to remember the two types of abscesses is a subsolar abscess is in the sole and a submural abscess is in the hoof wall, like a mural on a wall. I want to tell you a little bit about my experience with hoof abscesses. I have had two horses and both of them have had an abscess. One of them had a submural abscess. He had a light case, so we just had to soak his hoof with warm water and Epsom salt a couple of times and it drained and healed on its own. Recently, my horse Spirit had a subsolar abscess. The first sign of her abscess that we noticed was her being lame. The first thing that we checked was her legs for any visible injuries like cuts or wounds. Then we checked her hooves for rocks or anything that may be causing her pain and found nothing. So we watched her for a day or two to see if she got better on her own, but she just started limping worse. So we called our farrier and he examined her hoof. He used a hoof tester like this to put pressure on specific spots of the hoof to try to find where an abscess might be. He also used a hoof knife to try to cut deeper to see if he'd be able to find the abscess, but he was unable to find it. He said it must be higher in the hoof and suggested soaking her hoof um, with warm water and Epsom salt. We also talked to some other members on our 4-H club and they suggested wrapping her hoof with um, a drawing pad. So we decided to soak her hoof two times a day and wrap it with Epsom salt and vet wrap to keep it secure. Then we also covered it with a diaper. Yes, a baby diaper. The diaper keeps the gel in place. That way it can um, take um, absorb the abscess. We, kept, we did this for about a week until you're we able to find a spot on her fold where the abscess was draining. We kept it wrapped for a couple more days to keep it um, clean, that way it did not cause another abscess or infection. It took two weeks to completely heal. This is actually why I missed my first 4-H horse show. Unfortunately, abscesses always seem to come at the worst times. The best thing that we can do is try to prevent them from happening. Here are a few ways that you can do that. Keeping them in a dry area, keeping sharp objects out of their pasture or stall, and a good hoof care routine such as keeping their hooves, cleaning their hooves daily and regular trimming, or shoes if needed. Using these steps to prevent an abscess and knowing that you're able to treat them, I hope you'll agree that there's no reason to obsess over an abscess. Thank you for listening. Any questions? So um, when the horse has the abscess, do you lay them up in a stall for a while? Yeah, well you can, as long as they're in a dry place that way, and you keep their hoof wrapped. Because you, you would use duct tape to put on top of the wrap, that way it keeps it dry, but you don't want them out in the water or anything. Do you give them any pain medication during this time? You can, if, there's, if they're in a lot of pain, you can give them um, like banamine and stuff like that to try to uh, mask the pain or whatever, that way they don't feel as bad. But you definitely don't want to ride them or anything like that to cause more pain. You, you said uh, you used a, a salve or could use a salve to draw. Um, what type of salve would that be? This would be Epsom salt. So it's, it's like a drawing salve and you use it to draw the abscess and it's had the Epsom salt supposed to do that. So this is like, this is what they call it, a drawing salve, and it'd be like a gel like this, and it would draw, help draw out the abscess. So this is what I used. 